Hey everybody. Hey so um in this video I want to talk to y'all about um black ink the recent stuff. Okay. So okay. Um <clears throat> you're on so you all know you probably don't know but I watch black ink crew. If y'all don't know, Black Ink Crew is in VH1 reality show, and it shows the unique, the uniquely, um, that two shop, how they won, how they roll, whatever. So, um, the tattoo artist, I mean, the Excuse me, tattoo artist. I mean, the tattoo shop is real. Most people don't know it. Most people think that, oh, they just went something out and everyone is actors playing like the tattoo artist. No, the tattoo shop is real. It's in Harlem, New York, and the people are real. Walks in the Caesar, Daddy, whatever. Walks in them. They have. They, they have three shops. One in Chicago, one in New York, and one in Georgia, Atlanta. So, <clears throat> um, it's like you won't, oh, you won't always know. Oh, this person going to be here this day, or oh, or oh, that person going to be there that day, and everything like that. And many people think <coughs> that the show is scripted. Whatever happens on the show is fake and stay no. The answer is no. <clears throat> so it's all real. Now obviously they will have a couple of stage scenes on the show and scripted scenes, scripted lines, but um, most of it is real. <coughs> Excuse me. So I want to talk to you all about the fight between Caesar, Daddy, and Alex. And Donna, but she didn't get beat up because she's a girl. So, um, anyway. I really... <laughs> Forgot, I really forgot what was the fight about. I really forgot. But, um, they was at Young Bay's Redden. Now, I don't know her real name, so, um, don't quote me on, like, her real name is this, her real name is that. No, I don't know, um, the real name. But, anyway... <coughs> <clears throat> but um anyway um they was a they was at Young Bay's wedding because he was getting married and everything like that so um Caesar if you all don't know Caesar Caesar is the manager of Either, okay, Caesar is either the manager of Black Ink or the co-founder of Black Ink. I don't know. <coughs> um, anyway, um, Caesar was sitting on the edge of, I'll give it a little 
on the is of a she I mean no she was sitting on the head of the day for whatever and Alex and Donna walks in. Alex is the one I like. He is fun. <laughs> I didn't know he had a son. I say really do really I mean, not his boy, he's 26 years old, so I, I really does didn't know he had a son. Um, but anyway, him and Donna walked in, and Caesar basically, the whole thing is, the whole thing was Caesar got mad at Donna. Uh, since Caesar can hear a girl, Caesar took it out on Alex. So, um, anyway, <clears throat> um, <coughs> excuse me, how it all went down was, um, Caesar asked them, do y'all have a problem if y'all do say it now? And he basically, Donna basically say we don't have a problem with you, what you're talking about. And she then repeated that, do you have a problem saying it, whatever. Then she went, stood up to walk over to hit. Alex, but Daddy, Daddy was went behind Alex, and I think psycho punched him or s slapped him. Or, I don't know. I think he um, punched him, or whatever. Then the fight, the fight broke out between Caesar, Daddy. And Alex. Obviously, Donna got out of the way because when you, I even know to get out of the way when Paul is fighting because I'm not going to name no names. But when we, I was in high school, we and me and this other student, which was a male, was waiting to get into an Voc vocational classroom and <clears throat> him and another male was fighting arguing whatever and I was trying to hold my friend which is a male back and he bulldozed me and I fell to the ground <laughs> yeah, then that's when I know not to get in between men fighting. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, anyway, then, like, when you, and then, that fought, that fight injured Alex pretty badly on his lower back. Because, okay, if you didn't see how he got injured on his back, he, <clears throat> because it was all fast, it was all like, Daddy and Caesar was attacking, hitting, slapping Alex, and you didn't really see how his back got injured. Well, it was a table of food there, and um, while Daddy and Caesar was hitting him, whatever. He 
kind of, kind of fell backwards. And when, you know when the bro, I'm gonna need the wind pour, oh my gosh. So, anyway, when you, you know some tables is not tall, and he's tall. He's like six foot one, I don't really know, but he fell, kind of fell back on the table, and then after the, he fell back on the table, I think it was Caesar, I don't know, or Daddy, but they yanked him, and he he literally got yanked. Excuse me, like yanked like a rag dog yank, because his head did like that. So <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> um. Donna had to take him to the hospital, and it it they have a scene of him get getting was to the hospital, him in the hospital, whatever. I just think that was the adorable scene. I mean, he cute. Alex is cute. <clears throat> um. Anyway, um. He was moaning. I think it was hard, but um. Anyway, he was moaning because it was hurting him so bad. And they did a CT scan, and basically the doctor basically told him that <coughs> you have some bad tissue. In the from the damage, whatever you need, um, physical therapy. So, <clears throat> the episode that most people saw last night was he went out the BT's physical therapy office and he was like looking mad whatever so Donna got up with him and then he say they say I can't do that do I can't be and that do artist no more. No exactly more. No more. He, meaning that he can't do that do no more. And it obviously devastated him because when you like when you have a passion and you achieve that passion and you, you find out one time one day that you can't do this no more or you can't do that no more you'll be mad so anyway I, th I mean, I think, okay, I think my perspective at the ending was like, they acted like he was going to commit suicide. Like, I'm sorry, but they made it seem that way. When he said, <clears throat> when he told, after he told Donna, I can't um, be a tattoo artist no more, he said, um, he didn't, okay, he didn't say, I need some time to think. He said, I need to take a break. And he left Donna. And they acted like, I mean, they made the ending like he was going to jump off that bread. I think that was a bread. I think that they was on but. Anyway, they made it seem like, like, 
they made it seem like he was going to commit suicide <laughs> and everything like that. And at yeah, so I say really why y'all why they made it seem like that. He be okay when he say I need a break. He wasn't saying, I need a break from Donna, no, and from life, no. He said, I need a, he basically meant, I need a break from the cameras. Because when you just get in, bad news like that and you have like three four cameras that's in front of you you really <coughs> don't feel like filming <coughs> so many people okay so it was in video that someone posted 21 hours no 22 hours ago showing um um showing Alex from Black and Crew getting a facelift and it looked like he bleached his skin forever so well he, it looked like he bleached his face that could have just been from the Lot like you know when you come into the like dentist office or like other doctors office they have a plot lot that they sign down on you so it probably will just watch that whatever so I saw like one he was on live. Like Instagram live, I don't know, but um, I saw one comment say, "Bleach your skin." No, I saw one comment say, "Oh, I see that you bleach your skin, taking it to a whole nother level." <coughs> and I say in my head, really people he did look proud though he <laughs> like he did look like he bleached his skin i mean it's just like his hand looked the same but it just looked like he his face was brighter and everything like that so <clears throat> that probably was just the lot that was beaming in his face because it do make your face prop. Um so anyway yeah, so anyway, um many people don't understand how like because another comment was how is your back? How's your back? Whatever. Like how is your back? Because obviously the night before they, we saw him struggling, <laughs> literally struggling to get up and whatever. So many people don't get this. They filmed the season a year ago. So this season that so that we're seeing now was filmed a year ago. So meaning his injury that he have on his back was from a year ago. So now we don't know 100% if he can tattoo again. We does her from his words, oh, he can't tattoo, which was a year ago, 
and we start seeing in that because that's how movies and TV shows work. <clears throat> movies and TV shows film a year in advance before they show it for people to be for people to watch. So basically same as love and hip hop. Same as love and hip hop male no oops <laughs> No, I'm just thinking I'm doing a show called Love and Hip Hop Maryland and I was thinking out loud, whatever. But just like Love and Hip Hop New York, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Love and Hip Hop Miami, and Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, it was, it's all film the season a year in advance before they show it to, before they show it on TV. So let's say you'll be 33 now. <laughs> Excuse me, bless me. Let's say you're 33 now. You filmed a lot of the pop. Like, um, Little Fizz is 33 years old. He, so he filmed the last episode, the last season that he was on when he was 30, 132. So, yeah. <coughs> so it's like that. So when you see Alex back, no, when you see Alex is holding in these episodes, it was filmed last year. His injuries was last year. Excuse me. So, yeah. I, th I don't think many people like understand it, but <coughs> anyway, like, comment, subscribe.